The writing cabinet at the Victoria and Albert Museum is an amazing object. It would have very much been a functional piece, not just a showpiece. And I think the fact that you'd want to touch it and engage with it makes it even more interesting because that gives a history and a culture to that object and who used it. The wonderful thing about it is the stories on it. The mix of stories and you're not quite sure how they go together, but it's really interesting to look at. There's so much detail, you could spend hours looking at all the different figures from the scene of Noah's Ark on the front. And in particular, there's little snails. And the snails, to me, say a garden, they say play, they say a scene of fertility and just frolic. And it's timeless in the way that this garden could be anywhere for anybody. It's a Spanish object, and for me, I find it really fascinating to look at Spanish art post the um, exposition of all Muslims. At the height of the Muslim power in Spain, um, they were the ones who had the shops, they were the ones who were the master craftsmen, and it was very much influencing the culture of Spain. And this object from the 1500s is very much a product of that, having Islamic geometrical designs, the inlay work, and the standard, but maybe not made by a Muslim, but certainly within the tradition. That's kind of the human story of how we mix all sorts of things. We mix socially, we mix in terms of learning a craft, we learn from each other across all sorts of boundaries. What's so nice about human craft is that we expropriate from everywhere and we put it together and make these really wonderful, interesting objects.